Welcome back to Screen Lab. Today, we are listing down the top eight Sherlock Holmes portrayals in film and TV. Many actors have attempted to fill the shoes of Sherlock Holmes, but in this video, we will name who pulled off the best portrayal of the Baker Street detective. Make sure to stay tuned because our top six pick gave life to the early and fun beginnings of this famous detective. Are you seriously leaning on the cauldron of the cosmos? No, we're not. Sherlock Holmes Film Series 2009 Kicking off this list is Tony Stark, or should I say, Robert Downey Jr. One of the most famous and widely watched portrayals of Sherlock Holmes. Before he became a detective, RDJ was first known as part of the MCU, and everyone was excited when he started another film series as Sherlock Holmes. Will you allow me to explain? I wish you would. Something new for all the RDJ fans. The setting of this film series is in the 19th century, but the execution feels modern. Sherlock's home also had its own modern twist. This apartment space has also gained its popularity. In fact, it has its own museum on the exact address. For this film series, the crew did a great job of maximizing the space for playful scenes while Sherlock is alone after his confidant, Watson, left. Iron Man himself gave his own take on this iconic sleuth. The well-loved actor dispenses a normal look while methodically thinking about his next move as fast as a bullet. This film version made it possible for Sherlock to be involved in a brawl. This proved that he can obviously be an action star. The film also gave the sleuth a new and modern look. Of course, fans developed a love-hate relationship with RDJ's Sherlock. Many thought that he cannot pull it off, but the actor proved them wrong. RDJ's portrayal added insanity to the list of words that can relate to Sherlock Holmes. Very opposite to the refined Watson, played by Jude Law, Downey is the actor who's most infused his own persona into the Sherlock role. The trio is planning to reunite for the third installment for the Sherlock Holmes movie series. So watch out fans, because this is another film packed with action, comedy, and over-the-top story. What are we doing down here? We are waiting. I am smoking. Before we continue on our list, Another known superhero is taking the hat of Sherlock Holmes. The Man of Steel, Henry Cavill, will be playing the character of this fictional detective in a film on Netflix this September, Enola Holmes. The story will follow the younger sister of Sherlock, and she is also a great sleuth in her own right. Maybe let's see for ourselves if Henry Cavill could possibly be added to this list of top Sherlock Holmes portrayals. Tis I. Johnny Lee Miller, 2012. Johnny Lee Miller is the newest addition to the names who play the role of the iconic detective. Do you believe in love at first sight? Miller is the Sherlock Holmes in Elementary, a CBS series that is by far the most complex and adult modern adaptation of the story. It is set in a modern day Manhattan, and our detective is still with Watson, but unlike other adaptations, this character is a female, played by one of Charlie's angels, Lucy Liu. Compared to other Sherlock Holmes adaptations, Elementary gives Miller an extra challenge. Well, aside from the fact that he is compared to other Sherlock actors like Benedict Cumberbatch 2010, the series forces Sherlock to evolve not just as a character, but as a human being. Here, Sherlock is a fully functional adult who's struggling with addiction. This fictional character's struggle with addiction made him more human, something that other adaptations failed to achieve. Elementary addresses the issue and makes the viewers understand that it is a continuous process and lifelong progress. Miller and Blue traverse a variety of mysteries, both classical and original, across the run of the series. Moreover, the crew added another twist to this iconic storyline with Moriarty being a vivacious female played by Natalie Dormer. Overall, the response to Elementary was initially mixed. The launch of the series has overlapped with BBC's Sherlock, resulting in comparison from Sherlock fans. During the series, it has proven its sleeper success because of Miller's psychologically tainted performance. The British actor brought a bundle of new Sherlock details to the table that can be added to a long list of things that can be related to the character. Elementary's Sherlock has a detective's daddy issues, the storyline also showed his mother's history with opium and his field experience with MI6. If you think these portrayals are good enough, wait for the more modern adaptations of the story of the world's greatest detective. Maybe being a detective and a superhero goes well together. 
keep on watching because our top two pick is one of those. Look at this place, yuck. Can't wait for you to tidy it. Young Sherlock Holmes, 1985. Roe played the young Sherlock Holmes in the 1985 movie adaptation. The storyline focuses on Sherlock's early life when he enters the prestigious Brompton Academy and his first meeting with John Watson. Stop. This film showcases the now classic duo's first encounter of many exciting mysteries. The actor's performance was engaging enough and young Sherlock Holmes has much to recommend it. As a maturing Holmes, Roe is every bit misfit and socially awkward, but intelligent Sherlock. He wins the crowd over with his spirited sense of adventure. Plus, he's another repeat customer who makes a cameo in the next entry, Mr. Holmes 2015. The film could have been disastrous in the wrong hands. The idea of depicting the detective's early years had all the 80s gimmick you can think of, but director Steven Spielberg made Sherlock's story a fun family adventure. The chronicles of Mr. Holmes involve his retirement at 93. Sir Ian McKellen delivered a stunning performance in an adaptation that is dubbed as a haunting and beautiful movie adaptation of Sherlock Holmes. The film is less faithful from the source material. Writer-director Bill Condon decided to focus less on the mystery and, perhaps for the first time, more on the man himself. Mr. Holmes, nonetheless, is a moving story about the great detective nearing the end of his life. Sir Ian McKellen plays Sherlock Holmes, who is the opposite of Nicholas Rowe's character. Holmes is now a detective with shaky hands and a walking stick, less for show and more for necessity. McKellen's portrayal was filled with regret and longing for the choices he's made. Mr. Holmes' old age and dementia are weakening the once great mind. Jumping between time periods, Sir Ian managed to deliver both a flickering mind and a loud performance. Mr. Holmes let the audience experience Sherlock's every failure and triumph while coming to the realization that every case can't be solved through simple cleverness. You can't live alone. I don't live alone. I'm the housekeeper. The Hound of the Baskervilles, 1939 to 1946. He didn't say so. Even though fans can argue about Basil's performance, his portrayal was more faithful to Arthur Conan Doyle's original stories. Basil Rathborn's authoritative, occasionally autocratic portrayal of Baker Street's finest is so instantaneously recognizable, it would be unthinkable not to include him in this list. Rathborn's performance was seen as the benchmark for any actor who attempts to play Sherlock Holmes on screen. Well, I introduced the famed detective's uniform. The actor managed to play the English sleuth for more than half a decade. Rathborn and his partner Dr. Watson, Nigel Bruce, appeared in 14 films and over 200 radio shows. The actor's silhouette is still instantly recognizable. Before Rathborn, there are a few names already playing the generic type. A genius with a pipe and a brooding attitude. But during his time, the actor made an icon by inspiring the classic Sherlock look. If you think we are missing your bets, keep on watching because our top pick has undoubtedly made the best Sherlock Holmes portrayal. Or perhaps I should say in my imagination, for that's where crimes are conceived and where they're solved. In the imagination. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson 1979 to 1986. Who would have thought that a Russian can give one of the best portrayals of an English detective? Livinov portrayed Sherlock as a man with highly refined intelligence, full of wisdom, and occasionally humorous. Vasily Livinov is hailed by many as a perfect Sherlock. His portrayal gained an overwhelming response that led him to reprise his role in several TV movies. Livinov developed a body language that perfectly reflected his literary counterpart. Surprisingly, the creator Conan Doyle approves. His daughter Jean revealed that her father loved Livinov's performance. Well, the rest of the world seems to agree. In addition, Livinov is the only Sherlock actor to become an honorary member of the British Empire. In 2007, a sculpture of Sherlock and Watson as portrayed by Livinov and Solomons was placed in Moscow exhibiting their sheer adoration of the people with implications that there might be no higher homes. Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock 2010 Maybe it pays off being a superhero to land a Sherlock role, because aside from Iron Man, another MCU member joins the list of Sherlock actors. None other than Doctor Strange. But unlike RDJ, Benedict Cumberbatch's breakthrough is being Sherlock Holmes. I was wondering if you'd like to have coffee. Black, two sugars please, I'd be upstairs. 
The English series began in 2010, while Doctor Strange joined the MCU on a later date. Okay, going back to Sherlock, this adaptation of the story of this English sleuth is set in the 21st century. The storyline highlights the inability of Holmes to separate his personal life to work. Benedict Cumberbatch is the postmodern Holmes. In BBC's Sherlock, the detective got a makeover from his clothes up to his hair. However, Cumberbatch seems to be the prototype of Sherlock. Intolerant, antisocial, and devilishly astute. The actor is joined by Martin Freeman as Frazzled Watson. In the episodes like The Blind Banker 2010 and The Sign of Three 2014, the duo creates a chemistry that was well executed, fitting to Conan Doyle's original work. Given this winning formula, it's no surprise Cumberbatch has risen up the Sherlock ranks. He plays pompousness and profound sadness with such undeniable ease. The TV series is still ongoing, and it's safe to say Cumberbatch will stay atop the Sherlock list for a great many more years. The name Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. For our top pick, we're sure many Sherlock fans will agree that Jeremy Brett delivered the best portrayal of the English sleuth. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, 1984 to 1994. Jeremy Brett delivered the definitive portrayal of Sherlock Holmes. Well, after solving screen crimes in 41 stories, the actor can undoubtedly shape how people see Sherlock. Upon being cast in Granada's 1984 series, the actor did extensive research and invented an imaginary life the character could fill between televised cases. He felt the role demanded attention to detail, which he thought Sherlock himself would appreciate. The wildly talented Brett was born to play Sherlock, and the parallels he experienced in his own life. The actor has bipolar disorder and depression that helped inform his sudden shifts from boredom to heightened interest. Aside from Brett, the actors who portrayed Watson were also admired for presenting serious and deep portrayals of Holmes' loyal companion. Our topic became so obsessed with the character, he would reportedly continue to play Sherlock off-screen. This dedication provided viewers with a performance more than worthy of the world's greatest detective. Even now, two decades later, the realism and humanity of Brett's work are unprecedented. What film or TV adaptation of Sherlock Holmes is your favorite? Comment down below! If you enjoyed this video, you can also find out the best hidden gems on Netflix and top 10 sci-fi movies you must watch before you die. If you want more videos about your latest updates on your television series, click the notification bell to keep track of our latest uploads. Do not forget to like and subscribe! Also, share this video with your friends to keep them on the loop of the best of the best in film and television. Thanks for watching. See you on our next video.